Hey guys, this is Jen. I am redoing um, all of the older videos um, and updating them. This is going to be about the different traces that we have available to us um, in Sure Cuts a Lot. Um, now this one I picked specifically because it has all the different colors in it. And I get a lot of you that come in and ask. I have um, uh, an image file because this is an image. This is, a, I think, a PNG doesn't really matter but we call these raster files any image file is considered a raster and then the SVGs AIs EPS um, and some of the PDFs are considered vector files okay so what we need to do is we need to trace this and in here in uh, the way I teach is we use either color layer or no, we either use monochrome or single color. We don't use color layers, and we'll get to the reason why in a minute. Okay, so monochrome. Monochrome pretty much traces it in in one color. It can be black, blue, purple, whatever color, because you understand that we choose the color of media by what we place on our mats, unless this is a printable. Um, if you're choosing to print on HTV or um, like the adhesive brand, like a like a 651, then color is very important. Um, and there's a video on that. Just search printable on my YouTube channel, and that'll come up. But right now, we're not using that. We're just tr uh, tracing a regular file to cut it out of, let's say, vinyl. Okay, and if I want just a regular old cupcake, just one color, I'm going to stick it on somebody's window, okay? We want one color decal. Well, remember our output settings. We can adjust them as we need to, but we can adjust this here too. And even though it says 100, we can go past that. So let's crank this bad boy up here. Okay, I want to capture everything. Oh, but look what happens. That starts to come in. Well, that's really not a problem. So let's crank it up till everything fills in. Let's click update. Okay. So we'll click okay. And we'll bring it over here. Now, if you want to come in and capture the little bottom piece, this piece, you're going to do it until you catch that bottom. Click OK. Then grab your eraser and, and, of course, I would be doing it a lot more carefully if this was something I was going to use, but of course it's not. This is just a, a video to help you guys. So then I take it and I'm going to set it over here. Okay. Highlight it all. Path. Back minus front. There you go. And it cuts it out. Okay. So there. That's it. You are done. You send this to your stick or your um, hub and send it over wirelessly. Or you can use your cord if you have the scan and cut too. Whatever. You're done with that. Okay. So let's pull this little guy down here. Well, now let's say we want this in color. So we actually need to break this apart. Well, how do I do that? Well, when you come up here and you do the single color trace, that breaks it apart for you. All right. So let's do single color. Let's go for our pink first. Now you can't see this box right here, but there is actually a box. And what that's capturing is all of the white, this color. Okay. So if I click OK, look what happens. Oh, so let me come over here and change. Okay. And let me show you this. Watch. If I change this right now, it usually isn't going to do anything. Oh, it did this time. Sometimes you have to click off it and click back on it and then come and change it. Okay. Sometimes if you change it, it won't do anything. All right. So that is all the white. Okay. So you can come up here, object, break apart, and pull certain parts away that you don't want to leave in there. 
Let's see what happens if I pull all this down. There we go. Because I only need those white things, those white pieces of frosting. So object, merge it back together. And we're going to slide this over here out of the way. Oh, I see two pieces there that need to be erased. Okay, so now let's go back and let's get our pink part. And I'm not going to go all the way through this because it takes a bit of time to do a good trace. So now, so what I do to get a different color is I have to come up here and click on that white box that you can't see. See, there it comes up right there. Okay, so let's get our pink. Well, let's update preview. Okay, that's looking a bit shaky. Detail. Let's leave that alone. We're going to kind of go up a little bit. Okay. Smoothen this. We're going to take this up. And our detail, I'm going to drop it down. Let's update the preview. And that will get rid of all of that extra stuff. Let's take it down a little further. Make sure we're not losing a bunch. Okay, and we might go even further. And you say I'm going in kind of big amounts. That's okay. I am just watching this area right here. Okay. Making sure I'm not getting rid of the important stuff. Okay. Nope. Click OK. Oh no. So now I'm going to click Object, Break Apart, and see if I can't grab some of these errant lines and get them out of there. Okay. So this is how I go about doing it. And if I can't grab these lines because maybe they're hooked to this, I just grab my eraser and get rid of them. Okay, oops, I know I can grab that one. So that is pretty easy to do. Let me see, can I grab just that? Nope, so I would have to erase that one. Okay, you will continue on that way throughout every color. Okay, so you will go in and get your blue and then whatever other colors remain in there just like that all right but i need to fix this and put it back to the way it was okay but now let's try this color layers and i want to get into why i don't recommend using this as a um, new user beginner type of thing because there's not much control over this and let me show you yes you can come in here and strike out what you don't want and you can adjust these however that's about it you can of course adjust how many different colors you want but let's click preview okay so let's click okay group it okay so let's pull out our pink well this has the lines all the way around it so it does not look like our pink one let's do an object and a break apart that turns the entire thing okay so hmm when we break it apart that really does a number on it you're not able to pull out what you need to okay so that's not a good thing here's the original so I know that these little gray things really need to go up because I need solid lines 
that didn't give me a solid line. This one under here, I don't know really what color that is. That's not a solid line. This blue doesn't even belong down there. That's not a solid line. The yellow doesn't belong down there either. Do you see now what I'm talking about? This gives us a lot of extras that we now have to take care of somehow by either erasing or going after, you know, a part that we really didn't need to if we used the single color trace, okay? So that's why I recommend either using the monochrome, okay, or using a single color trace where you can yourself individually go in and pick out each color that you want. So if you didn't, you know, want a certain color, you don't have to go in and trace it. And yes, you can do that with the color layers. But this is what happens when you use the color layers. You get it all. And you have to go in and take care of each piece then. You don't get that when you do a single color trace, okay? But again, you guys can do whatever, you know, you want. That is just my opinion. Um, and I found when I... Um, started using this that the single color or that the color layer trace was a lot more difficult for me to try to use um, because it gave me way too many different colors to try to pick through um, as compared to um, using the uh, single color I was able to pick it myself so that really helped Again, though, it is totally up to you. Um, if you have any questions, though, come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. That's where I'm available for questions. I do not get to YouTube anymore, guys. Sorry. Um, so for you that ask questions over there, um, I don't read them. I can't get there. So uh, for you members that are watching this, just ask me right on the page. Okay, guys? Thanks a lot.